Hello, my name is Christina Capadoca. I am a theatre and movement practitioner researcher and this event is part of my latest artistic research project on the benefits of physical contact or touch, particularly when we are not in contact with, with others. So why touch? or physical contact, touch uh, or physical contact. I always like um, to play in between the, the different words that actually signify the same or similar experience. Because touch uh, has been a pivotal method in my work um, with actors, but also it informs my work with non-actors. And this particular event has been inspired by a research that I set up during the pandemic because of the tactile deprivation, the physical distancing that we all had to sustain but uh, touch is way more than that there's not one thing so i'm really curious about how we return back to such a pivotal aspect <laughs> so let's be honest let's acknowledge from the get-go the elephant in the room um touch is both a uh, taboo but also a sensitive a very much sensitive and intricate subject um, so I very much acknowledge, respect and hold any response uh, to its you know offering or okay it's an event about touch what is what is my initial response to it but I would like to to clarify two points or maybe more than two um, first, I totally recognize that when we hear the word touch, the first association that may come up is sexual touch. And mind you, there is nothing uh, wrong about it. Uh, we get a lot of uh, intimacy and self-care uh, from the um, sexual relations, but this is not at all uh, the focus of this event. Uh, also, another thing is how can we understand, become aware um, of the fact that physical contact or touch, I'll keep repeating that, um, is never one thing. And particularly in relation to this event, it does not have to be relational. So I can be in touch with myself even when I'm not in touch with others. And I really want for us to unpack the simplicity of it. We really go and we dismantle, um, decompose the, the elements of what touch uh, can be. So we, we get all the resources uh, out of it. Um, as I mentioned, um, there is not going to be a physical contact with others. It's all about um, my own connection with uh, my own body and the connection with the space. Um, we start from hands and we will move this attention to the rest of our physicalities because, again, there is so much we can uh, get out of it. But really, um, even in that, is more about heightening, magnifying the attention and the details of what is actually happening in daily gestures. In a way, let's say if you have found yourself in a yoga practice and the instructor goes, okay, bring your hands together um, in front of your chest, we take this gesture, but we do not just go through, okay, this is what we do only the action but we unpack what is actually happening in a tactile uh, sense in that moment and what we are actually using uh, from the the sense of uh, tactility sometimes it can be 
a quite complicated to find the the most appropriate uh, description for for an event but uh, really performance workshop it it's really what this event is about because it combines both experiences and it creates a new game as I would like to call uh, things um, so it you will get the uh, the elements of a workshop uh, prompts invitations and then it's really about um, uh, developing a specific attention uh, so uh, the spectator participants participants spectators uh, will follow the invitations that is going that are going to be included in the performative part as well but not in a distant uh, way in a connected and experiential way we're going to uh, lay out the the rules for this game as well and there is no uh, such a thing as right or wrong participation also do not <laughs> develop like this uh, um, pressure or oh, do I have to do thing because mind you um, you may as well watch but also it's not random that I'm using the word invitations and I'll be more precise in the actual um, like, uh, gathering uh, of us together in the space um, it, an invitation implies uh, the element of choice, the element of uh, diversity in the responses and every response is valid and every response is going uh, to be held. Really, this event is for everyone, but at the same time I understand that it can be particularly informative uh, for people who are dealing with uh, touch, um, either consciously or unconsciously in their own practices, let's say creatives, artists, uh, performers, uh, but also based on the feedback that I have received up to now, it can be particularly resourceful for carers as well or health practitioners. Uh, so really, uh, because of it, uh, subject and um, it is it is very expansive and uh, I'm pretty sure that you can all get something out of it uh, both for your personal um, and your professional life the first one is taking place in Leytonstone because I am an East Londoner so I would like to bring in a little bit the East London community into it and uh, it's going to be on Sunday, April 30th, uh, 3 um, at 4 o'clock uh, p.m. Um, at Good Shepherd Studios in Leytonstone. And the, the next one is going to be at um, Sivon Davis Studios uh, in, in South London to, to fill in all the gaps. And this is going to be on again on a Sunday, uh, the 2nd of July. So really can't wait uh, to share this performance workshop with you. Please come and join me. Um, it's going to be fun. Uh, I guarantee that to you. Um, and uh, most importantly, that let's gather insights about this um, ability that we carry on a daily basis, but we may not pay enough attention to it. Let's revisit, let's expand. Um, let's find more tactile possibilities. <laughs>